A $170 million battery being built here on the edge of Melbourne will charge up from rooftop solar panels during the day. And then discharge during that dinner time peak period. But Alison Hawke says there's not enough policy certainty or incentives for businesses to invest. The policy vacuum is slowing down the rate of transition and greater policy certainty would help in increase the rate of the investment in the industry uh, in what will be a very big industry with all kinds of businesses involved. In a month, the world's attention will turn to Glasgow for the United Nations 26th Climate Change Conference. For our allies, the time for talk is over. It is easy uh, to be green. We have the technology. Code red for humanity. After a decade of toxic politics, Australia will be turning up to COP26, promising far less than other developed countries. But we're faffing about here in Australia. We need to recognise we've got carbon prices, we've got carbon markets. Let's put the political posturing aside, evolve and reform those markets. If Australia doesn't put a price on carbon pollution, others may do it for us. The European Union is putting tariffs called the CBAMs on imports that haven't dealt with their emissions where they were created. That will hit our exports like steel and aluminium. Increasingly, overseas investors are asking about the carbon content of production. Yeah. And that's a trend that's only going to continue. The federal government is already changing its tune on climate targets, following pressure from international allies and fears investors might withdraw from Australia. We cannot run the risks that markets falsely assume that we are not transitioning in line with the rest of the world. Were we to find ourselves in that position, it would increase the cost of capital and reduce its availability. There's great potential for Australia, but huge difficulties too. We're the second largest exporter of thermal coal used for making energy, and we're the largest exporter of gas. The former head of the Australian Coal Association says we have to take action. If we don't start to address climate change, the entire global financial system is under threat, threat of collapse. What we do in the next three to five years is going to determine the future of humanity. And that's the, I think, the seriousness of the situation we're actually in. Net zero by 2050 means reducing our carbon emissions. The amount of pollution put into and taken out of the atmosphere to nothing within three decades. In the next month, we'll hear that even that target won't be enough to stem irrevocable damage to our climate. And that if we don't cut faster, we risk a hotter planet and more extreme weather events. We're sort of pl plodding along, sort of like, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really just sort of picking ourselves up and, and getting moving. And we really need to be going at more of a Usain Bolt pace. A sprint where the prize is everything.